Hello there, people. Um, it's me again. Um, now, just this is going to be a long video, so just a quick a little, quick little explanation of why I haven't been been posting a lot in the past few months. And does, does anybody cares? I I know, I know. I, I posted the Aquaman review not too long ago, but you notice that was that was months late. It should have been posted back when I actually recorded it. When it was, anyway. Reason for that: two things. One, and this is, this is the big one, is I have been having some nasty dental problems recently. It's, you know, floss your teeth, kids! So th I've only recently gotten past that. And two, I've had an a, a a, a issue with my equipment that I, I think he's worked out now. But anyway, so that's why I haven't been posting a lot of videos. I ho hope to change that soon. I mean, to, to, I, ho I hope that I will that I hope that's been changed now. So yeah, this video is a sequel of sorts to a video I made uh, four years ago, four years ago now, back in 2015. Um, I had just heard, as you know, there's two movies that there's the, the Captain Marvel movie and there's the Shazam movie. I had heard about the the these going these two movies going into production back in 2015, and I um, made a video giving my thoughts and concerns about them, and I'll say more about that as the film goes on. But basically, so I had um, well, you know, after that, I had to. I was initially actually going to do two separate um, two separate. Uh, reviews for these two movies because that's you know that would be normally do but basically i haven't had time my life has been crazy lately what with the dentist and the other some other stuff that's going on right now so um i saw i did see both movies and i'm just making this a double review um which yeah it's a double review so i'm going to review both movies um, I saw Captain Marvel, like, a couple weeks back. I saw, I just saw Shazam tonight. Um, so I've seen both. I'm going to give my, my thoughts on both. Starting with Captain Marvel. Because that's, it's kind of been the big, there's been a lot of stuff, talk about that. And again, I'll, I'll get into that. Captain Marvel. What did I think of Captain Marvel? Uh... Captain Marvel is just kind of there. It's not a terrible movie. It's certainly not a great movie. I'm not sure I wouldn't go so far as to call it a good movie, but it's not so horrible as to be a bad movie. It's just kind of the... It's flat-on mediocre is what it is. But what, what... what? Oh, I've got into that without even saying anything about it. What is it about? Okay, okay. Here's the the, 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 the the basic thing of the movie. Carol Danvers, as we ultimately find out her name is, is a uh, warrior of the Kree, who is uh, who are uh, an alien civilization. This is not this not the Native American tribe, the Indian tribe, the Kree. This is with a K. This is they're like a a warlike uh, alien civilization who are in a deadly battle with their enemies, the Skrulls! And the Skrulls are, you know, so she, she's a Kree warrior and she's got these energy powers that she doesn't know where they came from because she has amnesia! And, you know, they're saying, oh, you know, don't you worry, you know, we, we gave you these powers or, you, you know, right? No, I, I, you have them as like a, a gift or whatever. Anyway, in a battle with the, the Skrulls, you know, something goes wrong, she ends up on Earth and uh, she meets up with a young version of Nick Fury, and they have to sort out the mess with the scrolls and find out what she's, what her actual deal with the past is. It's just, since you know, I've given her name is Carol Danvers, you can probably guess, you know, what. But that's the movie, and as I said, it's it's just not. It's squarely, you know, it's it's like. Okay, let's let's start with the star of Captain Marvel. As you probably have heard, because this has been all over the internet lately, it's been blowing up. 
is Brie Larson. And Brie Larson... Uh, Brie Larson is just... Is... Brie Larson is, a, first off, you know, she's, she's an Oscar-winning actress, so she's, she has some clout in that regard, but she is totally miscast in this role, and probably misdirected. She is just, she spends the entire movie looking like this. That's how she acts. She barely moves her face. She talks in the same sort of wry monotone the entire movie and it's kind of and she makes a joke and it's more like she's laughing at her own joke because she doesn't laugh because Captain Marvel doesn't laugh and it's like and it's it's she is a, a energy sinkhole you know it's just like the whole movie is just kind of Boring. It's not. It's not terrible. As I said, there's some interesting. You know, what is it? yeah, it happened. Takes place in the '90s because the modern Marvel movies take place in the present, and so you've got to. And you've got this is establishing her past as is established in the ending sequence of Infinity War. So she's got. To, yeah, but it's like it's there's some potentially interesting stuff there, but it's not taken advantage of. I mean, I was kind of, I was kind of excited that we were going to get, finally get to see the Skrulls in the movie, because they are an, you know, a venerable Marvel foe group, whatever you want to call them. Um, they've been, you know, they, they, they debuted in the Fantastic Four in the, in the Lee and Kirby days. They, you know, they've been around since the 60s. They're, 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 the Skrulls are cool. I like the Skrulls, the Skrulls, the whatever. But, and, and, you know, yeah, they're, they're not handled terribly here, but it's like, when the most you can say about the, about this is, oh, well, this, this older thing is, that has, doesn't really have much to do with the actual hero, is not as bad as it could have been. In fact, you know, might have been, been a cool thing in a better movie. That's not much to say. It's not much to say, and the thing is, Marvel, ha Marvel has been. Uh, okay, look, I have not. This is not a political channel. This will never be a political channel. I don't want to get into that sort of stuff here. This is, you know, stuff for everybody. But there, there, there is, is a social politics, whatever this thing here that that has to be addressed. Captain Marvel has been touted to the skies by by Marvel as a feminist movie, and it's it's a such a triumph for women and a strong female protagonist, and it's so important. And it's it's not. It is not. It is a damp squib of a movie. It it it's like it's a nothing movie. It's one of the weakest movies Marvel's ever made. I didn't hate it. I didn't walk out of the movie fuming. Oh, yeah, that's... Oh, I'll get, yeah. You'll see why I'm going... When I... You know, but... But it's... If it weren't for the fact that there's all this whoop de doo being made about it, I probably would have forgotten it already. And, like, Brie Larson has apparently been, like, blowing up... To, on Twitter about, oh, I'm, I play the most powerful Marvel superhero of all, and I'm so important, and I'm, she's just generally being a rhymes with witch to just about everybody. And it's like, regardless of where you fall on the, the feminist, not feminist, whatever, you know, that scale, you know, I have my own opinions, I'm not going to get into them here. Regardless of whether you fall, this is not, this is the exact opposite of an important movie. And Brie Larson, you know, is, is not, she's playing the Captain Marvel as a really not a great version of Captain Marvel in the first place. But, but, okay, let's, let's drop Captain Marvel for the moment. And, and although we will re revisit it in the, and get on to Shazam. What do I think of Shazam? 
Well, all right, let's... I won't make the same mistake twice. Let's get... Let's do the, the brief recap first of Shazam. The basic idea of Shazam is that there are, like, sort of these magic... Uh, magic guardians of Earth, and the the, 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 the last and promo is, the, is the, the wizard Shazam. And he is the charged with keeping earth safe and he need but he's getting old and is you know he he can't stick around much longer and you know he needs a champion and so he chooses he winds up uh, through through reasons I'll get into he you know he needs to choose a champion now he can't he can't be super choosy about it and he picks this kid called Billy Batson, who in the movie is is a he's an uh, an orphan, and he's got this whole thing where he's like, I'm not really a, an orphan, you know. I I'm, you know I I got lost, and my mom, um, my mom never came to get me, but I'll, uh, you know, I'll find her, I'll find my mom, I'll prove I'm not really an orphan, I don't belong in all this whole foster system, and this has gotten him in trouble, and and he's landed in like a foster family full of other kids. But anyway, he becomes the the protege of the wizard Shazam, and the wizard Shazam says, "Say my name," and he says his name, and he is transformed into who is supposed to be called Captain Marvel. I'll get into that in a bit. But no, it's apparently he's also called Shazam because the wizard Shazam ain't in the picture no more. He was about to go. He gone! He's gone! He's, you know, sipped off this mortal coil. Maybe he's still there as a ghost or whatever he was in the comics. But, you know, for the moment, he's gone. So, now he's... He can turn into a superhero. And it's all, wow, I can turn into a superhero! But, oh no, there's this... There's... The, the villain of the piece is a, a prospective champion. A prospective Captain Marvel, such as him, whatever. Um whose his name is Dr. Sivana. And Dr. Sivana, you know, was tempted by the seven deadly sins who Captain Mar who the Captain yeah, I'm just gonna call, call him Captain Marvel is supposed to guard against. So it's like she said, you're not worthy. So he said, Oh yeah? Well I'll find this this the place with the, the the seven deadly sins and you hang out and I'll release them and I'll get their powers and you know then I'll be the so he now he's like you know he's got the powers of the seven deadly sins and he's going up against Shazam slash Captain Marvel and Captain Marvel has to end it that's the right okay what did I think of this movie ah, yeah. Thought of this movie. In brief, that's what I thought of this movie, and it's you know what? Everybody else seems to like this movie, and I couldn't stand this movie. Why? Okay, let's get into why. Look, all right, Captain Marvel, the original Captain Marvel. I'm not gonna call him Shazam. The original Captain Marvel. He's always been a light-hearted character. He's always been a light-hearted character. In every iteration, he's been a light-hearted character. But there is a difference between light-hearted and stupid, stupid, moronic, bubbling comedy. That's the difference. The, no, I mean, that, the difference is that, you know, light-hearted is in tone. Whereas moronic, babbling comedy is throwing lines at freaking screen and like spaghetti to see which ones stick and over and over and over and over this movie this I mean I've said in the past I'm not a comedy guy maybe that's why I I don't seem to like it and so many other people do seem to like it I mean I but but that being said that doesn't change anything that's not what this it's what Captain Marvel, the original Captain Marvel, is supposed to be like! This movie is a comedy making fun of superheroes. It's like, it's based around the, the idea that, oh, you know, he's a superhero. 
and he's actually, he's also a kid. So naturally, he's going to do the things like, oh wow, I'm in a grown-up body, I could do all kinds of things I could never get away with as a kid, and I'm going to make stupid jokes, because kids make stupid jokes, and I'm going to crack wise with them with my li with my friend who's you know because and i gotta post the videos on youtube and i'm gonna do all the you know the thing because that's what the kids do nowadays don't you know and it's like this the whole the whole premise behind captain marvel the original captain marvel is that billy batson is a genuinely good kid now, mind you, this is all based on a storyline from the comics, which I read a little bit of, and I also really didn't like. And this is better than that, because he was an absolute little twerp in that one. I hated him there. And he's not that bad here. He's He, he does, he has a, a core of decency to him, but it's like, he's not, you know, what is so difficult to... to comprehend about, you know, not all kids are actually sort of selfish, quipping, um, little idiots. What is so hard about that? I mean, it's like, he spends the vast amount of the movie, you know, just showing off. It's like, I've got superpowers now. Don't you want to give me some money? Don't you want to watch as I go, bzz, bzz, bzz. Which, incidentally, Captain Marvel has never been able to do until fairly recently, I think. It's, a... it's not like he's an outright villain or anything, but he only ever does superhero stuff when he's forced to, or he's guilt-tripped into, or Sivana, who is a great big powerful guy in this version, up and attacks him, and he's like, oh, I've got to defend myself! He's not... A, he's not a hero. He's, you know, he's not a pure-hearted, you know, he's not a pure heart. I mean, look, to give you an example of how S Captain Marvel is supposed to be, has any, have any, ever, any of you ever read a storyline in DC Comics from the, I think, the late 90s called Underworld Unleashed? In that... You know, there's a character called Neuron, who's basically something like the devil combined with Cthulhu. And he was doing all sorts of horrible things to the superheroes of Earth. And you know what his, his end game was? He wanted the world's purest soul. And everyone thought, oh, that means Superman. It wasn't Superman! It was Captain Marvel! It was Billy Batson! He was the, you know, he was the, the you know, had the innocence of childhood combined with the, the, you know, the, the purity of purpose of a true hero of justice and... You know, that's who Billy Batson is! He's really that good! He's really that nice of a guy! He's not in this version! He's nowhere near, he's freaking Shazam's sloppy seconds. He's like, you know, you'll do. I can't get anyone else, and I'm about to die, so you'll do. You know, get in here, you know, say my name, bam, you're a superhero, okay, I can die now. That's, it's just, and yeah, he, he ultimately kind of does kind of wise up and become a, a better person, and... And there are things about the movie I liked. Clearly, whoever has done... who I don't remember who directed this thing, but they've... They, you know, they've clearly... They, they've done a... Or, or wrote, I should say, who wrote the thing. But they've done at least a little bit of, of research into Captain Marvel. There's bits of... Uh, there are visual references to this sort of thing. I mean, first off, like, the seven deadly sins being an important thing. That, that's a good thing, because they, those, they, those have been a, a prominent part of the Captain Marvel mythos for a long time. The seven, the seven deadly sins of man. Um, those are in, like, the first, the very first um, Captain Marvel story, I think, back, way back in the Golden Age. Um... And there are, like, little references to, like, there's a villain, there's a Mr. Mind, he's in there. There's, you know, I think that there's even, like, little stuff, like, there was a recurring sort of characters with, like, men with crocodile heads 
called the Hissmen, if I remember correctly. They're in there, briefly. You know, there's like, there's all these little things. And, you know, there's there's the whole, there's the, the Captain Marvel, I mean, no, the, the the Marvel family, which is a big thing from from the comics. That is in, you know, the, they're, they're in their modern version. You'll find out how. And, you know, that's, that's not a terrible idea. I don't, I wasn't a f big fan of the way they did it in the comics or here, but it's not a terrible idea. There's... And everyone has been saying, like, oh, this movie, this movie has heart. I've seen that time and time again in, like, little references here. There's, like, Sh like Shazam, the Shazam movie has heart. And, yeah, it does have heart. It has heart when it's not making fun of the thing at top volume. Look, it's like, here's what the Shazam movie is like. It's like, in one hand, you've got the... You know, like a, a, a Hallmark greeting card, or like you know, the, 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 the thing was like it's got the freaking like I don't know the the, the 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 Care Bears on it, and it's like it's somehow not act not sickeningly saccharine. It's actually heartwarming. It's like you know we love the whole world, and it's done well enough. It's like you know, oh, we love you too, Care Bears. And then in the other thing, you've got I don't even know what you've got, a hammer maybe. Like, a hammer with a big, smirking, smiley face, like, ha, ha, on its tip. Hammer with a smiley face. Hallmark card. Green card. Whatever. <laughs> it, it doesn't... Every single, like, potentially cool, genuine superhero movie moment is... is it's punctured. It's... Torn to shreds. It's there's a dumb line, a dumb comedy bit in every. It's like try. It's like trying to be the PG rated Deadpool or something. It's it's oh, it's so frustrating as someone who actually likes superheroes. This is a movie you know you might you you might enjoy if you think superheroes are dumb. If you enjoy you know, taking them down a few pegs and like, you know, ha ha, brightly colored costumes, ha ha, superpowers, ha ha. Oh, gods. But I like superheroes. I, most of the movies on this site, on this, you know, channel have something to do with superheroes. And it was so frustrating. I just wanted to yell, shut up. Shut up and start being an actual hero already. Oh yes, and Sivana. Let's just talk about Sivana. Sivana was Dr. Sivana. He was one of the, the all-time... He's, you know, Captain Marvel's arch enemy in the comics. And it's like... He... he and yeah, he's a great character. He's like the ultimate evil mad scientist. And it's like the idea was he's a mad scientist. And he, you know, went up against Captain Marvel because he was one of the most brilliant men in the world and he could create all these impossible, you know, inventions that allowed him to go up against basically Superman. You know, it's like, he was a great character. Here he's just, you know, he had, he had personality. Here he's just, you know, he is a very evil man who... Looks like Savannah because he's bald and has glasses, and that's it. And otherwise, he's just, he's evil. He's like, I want your power, belly button. I want your power. I've already got lots of power, but I have issues regarding my childhood, and I want more power, and I'm going to kill people and be really, really evil. He's a sort of, like, I... A completely evil villain can be fun, but they're fun if they're having fun. This guy isn't having fun. He hates everything and everybody. He just, you know, he's got issues. He's like, why didn't you love me, daddy? And it's like, you know, he's a little sympathetic at first when it's kind of, because you do, you see his backstory and it's like, yeah, he gets picked on by his, by his family and that's not nice, but it's like, they never take advantage of that afterwards. They just, you know, he grows up to become a horrible, evil person. 
who is obsessed with this. That's it. And goodbye with the, the mad science issue. The mad, mad science business. You know, it's just, he's magic. Shazam's magic. And I get it, you know. I called him Shazam. I don't want to call him Shazam. But, you know, yeah, okay, Captain Marvel is the magic, the magic Superman. Fine, okay. But not everything involving him has to involve magic. It doesn't. Everything that makes Sivana special as a character and unique and interesting is his mind. Is the fact that he's such a brilliant guy and he can do all these ridiculous things. But he can't hear at all. He's just, you know, big evil dude who does stereotypical big evil dude things. And it's like, uh, I, I brought this up in the, the previous video, is, you know, he's called Shazam, but he can't say his name. He doesn't even call himself that, even in, like, you know, it's... You know how he's credited in the end credits? Because I stayed to watch the end credits, as you always do, see? Superhero Billy. Superhero Billy! This is, this is, this is, it's, it's ridiculous! They just call him all sorts of st stupid names. Like, he, the idea is that, yeah, he has his best friend amongst the amongst the, the other sort of foster kids and one and they 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 know they know his secret and he they keep like, oh you know, why do you call it Captain Sparkle Fingers or like, you know, Mega Electricity Man or whatever. And it's like you know, and he never gets a name. He can't get a name because he can't say you know, he can't say Shazam or he gets turned back into Billy Batson. And it's the stupid, it's stupid in the comics, it's stupid here, it's just stupid, it's fatuous, he never gets, he's just, he's in alter ego mode, he never, it's called, it's never like, you know, Captain Marvel saved the day, because he's not Captain Marvel, it's never, Shazam saved the day, because he can't tell anyone he's called Shazam, it's just like, a superhero, Unidentified except for a variety of different stupid names that the thing made up. Just save the day. It's so bogus. So, all right. I re. So, getting. Let's move away from that. Let's just get it. Start getting in the wrap up here. I rewatched my original video. My original, you know, Captain Marvel versus, you know, the Sh Shazam thing. And you know what? Everything I was worried about came true. I was worried about, oh, you know, Captain Marvel, the Marvel Captain Marvel, will come to eclipse the original Captain Marvel if, you know, and if they call him Shazam, you know, if, then, you know, then the original Captain Marvel is going to eclipse it. Everyone thinks like, oh, Captain Marvel is the is the Marvel, you know, woman character instead of the original Golden Age, you know, character that he's and you know what? Yeah! And it, it's, it's worse than I ever imagined in that regard, too, because Captain Marvel, you know, the Marvel Captain Marvel, is now at the center of this great big culture war, and, you know, the actress is spitting poison on the internet, and everyone is going to think about that when they hear the name Captain Marvel. They're not going to think about the guy with the lightning bolt on his chest who's been around since the 30s and was at one point, you know, a serious contender against Superman is the most powerful, uh, the most, <laughs> most popular superheroes around. You know, you're not going to think about that. They're going to think about Shazam. They're going to think about Shazam, who can't call himself Shazam, and so he just calls himself a variety of stupid names. And they're going to think about, you know, taking the 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 puncturing the, the the superhero genre when they should be celebrating it because this is one of the most all-time iconic characters ever. And they've turned him into a stupid joke who won't shut up. And I'm really, really mad about that. And I'm also mad about the fact that he has no chance to recover because his real name is now taken by a, another superhero who's, you know, completely mediocre and, you know, almost everybody seems to hate. Or if they don't hate, they're, they're sticking up for her solely because of, like, the, the culture war reasons. And it's so... It's like 
Captain Marvel, the original Captain Marvel, is freaking disappearing into the ether. And Carol Danvers, who once was a good character, is now, a, is now you know, either a terrible character or just a mediocre character, depending on where you look. And either way, she's not worth basing a franchise around. Which is what they say is going to, you know, she's going to be one of the, 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 the headliners. And I don't know whether that's true or not, that's probably what they're saying. And it's a perfect storm of not working. You know, you've got one movie that's thoroughly mediocre, and almost no one really liked. And then you've got this other movie, which everybody else seems to like except me, but which is totally misrepresenting the, 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 the character it's supposed to be. So the, you know, the people who like the the Shazam movie are going to be, oh, that's what's what what Captain Marvel is. He's like, you know, Deadpool if he was a kid and not allowed to do naughty stuff. And then, you know, the the Captain Marvel sort of, you know, appeals like, you know, Cap either Captain Marvel s sucks and Captain Marvel is the Marvel thing, or it's like, you know, Captain Marvel is great and he's not a he, he's a she, and she is great because, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a and both characters get the short end of the stick, and it's stupid, and I hate it. And I, I was really, you know, I had expectations here. Everyone was saying, oh, the Shazam movie has heart. And I almost didn't see it, you know? I almost couldn't see it. Because I, I was like, I caught the very last showing in my local movie theater. You know, if I didn't catch that, I would have had to go to some place back of beyond to find it. And it, you know, it probably wouldn't have happened. And it's like, I was like, you know, okay, this has the potential for actually being an interesting movie. And it might have if they just kept the, the their heart in the right place and not thrown in all the stuff. Stupid jokes and the, the turning the character into an absolute clod of a, and the. Uh, okay, okay. I guess I don't have anything else to say. I'm just really mad about this. If you want to look at the original movie, I'm going to link it down below. I mean the the original the original video I did. I'm going to link it down link it down below. And. You know, I can't... At this point, I'm not even sure if both of them, those, if those videos, if both of those movies are still in theaters right now. I think Captain Marvel still is. Shazam probably isn't. So it's like, it's pointless saying, like, are you going to see them in the theaters? And they're probably left the theaters now. And, but I don't, I don't recommend either of these. You might like Shazam, because people seem to like Shazam, but I can't figure out why. I hated it. And I'm like this lone voice, it seems to me. And uh, I'm not having a good time, folks. It's not a good time to be someone who actually likes comic books. It's not. Look around you, it's not. This... Yes, there's these great characters, and they're just, you know, another way to another way to make money in the movies, and that's and uh, and I was so optimistic when Aquaman came out. I still I liked Aquaman. I really like Aquaman. And everyone was saying, you know, oh, oh, you know. And then Shazam came out and it looks, it looks like it's a positive trend. It's not a positive trend. Aquaman was a sh brief shining blip. And I hope it'll get good follow-ups and everything. But it, you know, don't try and say, you know, it's on the same level as Shazam. Shazam is several lower levels below it, even if you like Shazam. Aquaman was really good. Shazam, Shazam is a joke movie, and even if the the jokes land for you, oh gods, I've had it. Uh, probably there'll be another review up soon because as, as the Avengers movies come out, I'll probably review that. Um, and other things to come, I guess. I I don't know. 
I'm signing off now because I just want to crawl up in my bed and whimper. I am so ticked off. I, 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 Right, that's all. Again, yeah, movie, more, you know, more stuff coming soon. Uh, see ya, folks. Here's hoping things look better later. Better tomorrow. I don't know. Bye.